Hello and welcome to, we're not entirely sure what we're going to call it yet, <laughs> uh, version of uh, Popons in Risk. Uh, this is your host, Tony Canyas. This is a whole new series. Uh, and uh, Juliana Parsons is our, uh, what, what's, the, what's the word, a victim or? Uh, guinea pig. <laughs> our guinea pig, our guinea pig, yes. Uh, so this new series of Popons in Risk, uh, or by insurance nerds is all about featuring people from our industry who have uh, recently separated, generally because of a, of a layoff, uh, because we've seen so many layoffs in, in the insured tech space recently, uh, and basically given them a platform for to talk about about what they do and 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 how they do it and what they want to do next, and at the same time give insurtechs and, and carriers the chance of hearing in a, in, a, in a short format from amazing potential new employees. So Juliana, thank you so much. You and I have chatted a couple of times uh, and uh, I'm so excited to have you be our first, uh, whatever we're gonna call this series. Uh, <laughs> and and for, for anybody watching on, the, on, on, on YouTube, uh, I am not at home today. Uh, so, so I'm using a fake background. I'm at my brother-in-law's lake house. So, but anyway, start of the show today is not me, it's Juliana. So Juliana, th thank you for joining me today. Oh, you're uh, welcome. It's so, nice to be so, here. Awesome. Uh, happy Friday. Thank um, you. You too. So basically, I, like, I, I, th I think that, that, <laughs> that potential uh, future employers would love mm -hmm. to hear about your career thus far. Uh, and, and, and what is it you love doing and where, where have you been successful? Well, um, in short, my career in the insurance space is pretty early. I'm early in, in this whole genre, really. Um, what I've done thus far is smaller whole life policies, final expense, uh, field underwriting, uh, holding a license, talking to people, making sure that, you know, we get them the best coverage and making sure that the, the carrier, of course, has the best um, opportunity for them as well, you know, making sure that that's all level. Uh, beyond that, uh, I knew there had to be more. Uh, so I continued and I worked with a company, a tech company, uh, life insurance tech company. And what I did there was case management and underwriting. And really, we took, goodness, everything from start to finish, uh, we took the cases right from the salespeople and moved from them, uh, looked through, made sure everything was on the up and up, ordered the APSs, worked with apps, worked with exam one, worked with the MVR, you know, everyone that we needed, everything we needed to gather together to make sure that everything was appropriate and in line um, and worked with the carriers. So I was kind of the middleman, if that makes sense. Um, what I really enjoyed about it was a few things. Being able to work remote is huge for me. And I know not everyone is on that boat, um, but I am. I absolutely love my own little personal space. Uh, nice and quiet, I can dig into my work. That being said, um, I also like this, the whole Zoom connection and being able to shoot, we could have 50 people in a room together, you know, and be able to chat that way. Um, but when it came time to it, I can shut everything off and just work, you know. In short, that's that's pretty much where I have been and, and what I've done so far in this industry. Mm -hmm. Where I'd like to go from here is far. <laughs> that's a long list. So, um, uh, there's far, a, Not far away. Not far, far away. <laughs> far in advance, yes. Uh, there's a lot of certifications. I know there's a lot of things that I need to do personally. Um, what I'm looking for, I guess, is a company that's understands who I am, um, understands my go-getter personality, and that I really kind of dig into everything that I've ever accomplished in life prior even to the life insurance industry, um, and be able to help me succeed in that manner. Okay. And as I was telling you that during, during the career chat we had earlier this week or last week, mm -hmm. uh, the demand for life underwriters is crazy. So... Yeah. Your, your couple of years of life underwriting experience is awesome. Uh, 
Uh, and then if I, if I remember correctly, you would also be open-minded to, to take your own writing skills to the PNC side. If, of course. If, 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 if the opportunity arrived. Yeah, and also, absolutely. Um, I, uh, I see that you've been working on your Loma Lim, uh, Limra uh, certifications. So, Correct. So, um, how, so you finished, of course, if you were on the PNC side, I, I could speak very well. <laughs> but since you come from, okay, so, so you've got your MRI, MRAP, Medical Risk Assessment Professional. Uh, Not yet. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So in process. Working, that's, mm -hmm. that's the one you're working on. Correct. Okay, perfect, perfect. And then on top of all of all that, you've got some some education in uh, graphic design. Correct. Yeah, I have kind of a wild background. <laughs> I understand. So um, I have so pre veterinary medicine, uh, graphic design, and years and years and years in the restaurant bar industry. So okay. And management and training. So there's all kinds of things that kind of <laughs> meld me together. So a very well-rounded life underwriter or potentially mm -hmm. PNC underwriter. Correct. Uh, okay. And g given the graphic design background, I wonder if you'd be interested in something in, in the marketing communication space within life or PNC. Possibly. I guess I would have to I don't know. I like risk assessment, <laughs> but I get possibly. I mean, I've I've done quite a few things in that as on that aspect, uh, mostly for small businesses, getting just getting them off off to a start. Really, um, the one I work with still, you know, on a regular basis, I'm in communication with them now. They've grown beyond my my <laughs> my my scope of everything, and I do this now, uh, but. I got them jump started and created their website and got all of their marketing together and their logo and design and all of that. And now they're doing, uh, they're a sailing charter down in the Br British Virgin Islands. And now they're doing about 150 charters in a year. So. Okay. And, and I should have prepared you for the questions. Uh, <laughs> That's okay. I hadn't thought of them since you're the first person ever, but uh, <laughs> What would what what would your last couple of supervisors say about you if, if we could call them for a reference? <laughs> uh, too detailed. Too <laughs> definitely. <laughs> definitely. Uh, which is which is a blessing and a curse all in one, you know. You just have to remind uh, it, yourself that, that that there is a deadline. Yes, there is a deadline. And sometimes I struggle with that. You know, I want to make sure everything is 100%. All my T's are crossed, all my I's are dotted, everything is in line. Um, and, and I know that that's a, a hurdle of my own and always has been. However, on the flip side, um, you know, the benefit to that is, of course, that I catch things that other people miss. So, you know, it, it's a good, it's a good burden i guess to make sure that i am i am that detailed but for sure they would say that okay okay what what, what, what about your your uh, teammates your cohort your peers <laughs> probably the same <laughs> honestly uh, um i i am i am that a type personality when it comes to my job you know um i also on the flip side, though, uh, being in the bar and restaurant industry for a long time, you know, there's also a part of me that is outgoing and likes to go have fun and likes to be part of all of that energy, you know, and, and do all of that. But you get into this type of zone of work, whether it's, you know, it's a runner's high, you might call it, or an art artist's high, or whatever you might terminology might put on it um that zone that you get into and i tend to do that a lot with work so okay and i think this is the last question since we're trying to get to, <laughs> to get this uh, down to 15 minutes mm -hmm. uh, what are the top one two or three reasons uh that that that, that uh, an, an insured tech, a uh, life insurance company or a PNC insurance company, whoever, whoever they might be, what, what, mm -hmm. are, what are the top one, two or three reasons that you're gonna be just an amazing employee for them? Goodness. Um, 
I'm not sure about the specific no order. <laughs> I did have no warning, but I will I will try to do this off the top of my head. Um hundred percent because number one, because I do dig myself into all work. If I don't know how to do it, I will figure out how to do it. If I have to figure it out or ask or grow or learn or study, it doesn't matter. I will I will do it. Um that can be hard on myself that way, but you know, it is what it's just who I am. Mm -hmm. Um, that's number one, I would have to say for sure. Uh, the other is that I'm in a space where I know we're not supposed to look at these things, uh, as far as businesses go or positions go. However, I'm in a space where there's no small children. There's no responsibilities. I'm here to do a job uh, and I want to do the job and I'm ready to, for my career, if that makes sense. That is my number one focus at this point in my life. Um, so that's a huge, I think it's a huge thing. I don't really know which number that would fall in at this point, uh, <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. Uh, a third reason or a third thing, goodness. And, and I can I make a mean, I can make a mean cocktail. Like I can whip up a good cocktail for a party at, at any time with anything you have. Absolutely. So, strong preference for remote, but <laughs> yes. when we do meet in person, you're going to have a lot of fun. I can yes, absolutely. Uh, so, so a perfect example of the work hard, play hard mentality. Uh, uh, Joanna, thank you so much for for agreeing to 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 be the uh, the the guinea pig for for our new format. Uh, of course, and uh, it's my pleasure. Actually, uh, I will include your. I will tag you on LinkedIn when this goes live. Uh, okay. uh, your LinkedIn will will be in the show notes for any any employer that that uh, that wants to have to have a, a conversation with you and for anybody else who has been affected by the insure tech layoffs of 2022 please reach out uh and we will uh try to uh to schedule you for for whatever we end up calling this sheer series of <laughs> video and podcast all right uh, thank you very much for your time happy of Friday. course of course usual see ya